Protesters continue to demand justice and police reform after Tyree Nichols' death. A group blocked Danny Thomas and Poplar Avenue this afternoon. They told us they want to see better training for MPD officers and a checks and balances system to hold officers accountable. Kelly Gates with Black Lives Matter and the Center for Transforming Communities spoke about why these protests continue to matter. Our people have always overcome uh, by the blood of our testimony, and we do that through song, and we do that through movement, and we do that through marching. And so as a mom of two African-American boys, um, it's very important to me and near and dear to my heart that we have um, some pressure still on this, this, this matter and that we receive some justice. We'll have more about this protest tonight at 10. Meanwhile, Memphis's skating community gathered to remember Tyree through one of his passions, skateboarding. This silent protest called Push for Tyree was a moment for the community to come together and honor him. Demonstrators took the protest from the National Civil Rights Museum to Court Street Park. Tyree's mom asked that his legacy be remembered as a skater. So what better way to do that than to get every skater out here skating at one time, honoring him. We didn't get a chance to build a friendship with Tyree. I got to meet him one day, uh, skate with him at the park that day, but never got really the opportunity to get to know him. So this was really important about the community getting to know each other. A handful of the demonstrators said they didn't really know Tyree, but knew him through skateboarding. So they say they're making it their mission to start introducing themselves to one another to help bridge the gap between skaters.